I'm Andy Hamilton. I'm semi-retired now. I was uh, a builder when I was younger uh, and uh, that got me into looking at um, low energy solutions for uh, housing. I then went on to uh, join Salford University and I've done some research into sustainability. Um, since I left the university, I've now been working with local groups such as the Carbon Co-op in terms of um, how to achieve low energy housing. The house I bought in 1977 was a derelict 1750 uh, farm cottage it became apparent to me that to make the building energy efficient I had to address um, the uh, particular energy losses. Really, from when I got the house in, in 1977, uh, if there was an opportunity to put any insulation materials in, I would. So when I was um, sorting out the damp problem uh, with uh, around the back of the house where the floor is below ground level I put in 150 millimeters of polystyrene sheeting. Uh, the latest installation I've put in uh, over the last couple of years is uh, hemp lime in the cellar. Uh, it had the effect of smoothing out the difference in humidity and it does seem to be quite effective uh, in terms of making the cellar warmer. I think all the insulation I've put in uh, to the main house has actually paid for itself, um, you know, in not just in heating bills, but also in the comfort of the house. The heat pump, what, what it does is effectively a refrigerator in reverse. Instead of putting cold air into your refrigerator, you, you're taking warm air into the house. And it's quite a clever device in that it's actually taking air and just upping the amount of heat in it. If you've got a heat pump like mine, um, the air comes in at uh, say 10 degrees or whatever, and you're raising the temperature of this air uh, and then using it to heat the water that flows around the heating system in the house. I can run the system at 35 degrees for heat of water in the radiators and the floor. So there's only a gap of 25 degrees if the air temperature is 10 degrees. Uh, and so it doesn't take all that much energy to put that extra 25 degrees in. My five kilowatt heat pump is very rarely taking more than one kilowatt input. It might be as much as one and a half kilowatts. Uh, and really that's it for the heating for my house. So that uh, work on insulation, uh, on uh, in increasing the solar gain to the house through the conservatory and through uh, various methods of uh, energy um, production to heat the house, uh, have combined to make it a very low energy house with um, costs of about uh, £300 a year for energy uh, and also to be very comfortable. Uh, it's not just a matter of recommending retrofit, it is absolutely essential. If we want to make an impression on climate change, we have to have retrofit. So yes, do retrofit, be one of the pioneers, save the planet. You can visit homes like these at green open home events held regularly around the UK. For more information on how Carbon Co-op can help you improve your home and reduce your emissions, visit our website.